talk a little bit about braces and bits. Lots of bits. Last set of center bits I got, I got this nice 1800s Scottish style marples. And um, they're starting to get some surface rust. I'm going to show you what I do to protect them and to put them up and clean them. First thing I want you to notice about this old brace. This is solid metal. And you can still see the hammer marks to where they forged it. And I don't know if they did it with a mechanical hammer or if they hand forged it. Another thing is it's spring loaded with a little divot in the bottom that catches. The one thing that I observed, the end of it, six sided, this has a notch in it just like the side of a gun. And if you take the coachman's bit that has the notch that was designed for it, and if you look at just the end of that, it almost looks like a bayonet in the end of a rifle to me. Think a gunsmith had something to do with the design? Marples and Sons, how burn ya? Over here on my bench, got my high glue pot plugged in and my wax sitting in it getting warm. That should take a little while. As soon as that gets warm, we'll brush it down and we're going through the bits. Center bit, been cleaned, got my little coating. Uh, got a butter knife edge on it. Piece of pine. Lead bit starts. And, oh, we're tearing it out. Let's see if we can do something about that. Now, we do not need to change the diameter of the bit. We're not going to sharpen on the outside or this outside. We're going to leave the diameter the same. This plane needs to stay flat and flush. So I'm going to sharpen here and on the inside here. bracing bits. Uh, I did an older auger bit sharpening thing to get really more in depth on how to get a clean edge on. Um, if I've got bulk drilling, I use a drill press, hand drill, but I just like the old tools, you know that. I, like. I like to thank all of you folks for tuning in to my channel. Uh, I just reached 3,000 subscribers. Uh, that's a plus. Um, things are getting a little thin around here. Some of you know my wife is ill. Uh, she's fixing to have to leave her job and come home and we're having to deal with medical issues and supplies and, and a lot of things so you may not see as much of me and you, and you haven't been seeing as much of me as, as normal. Uh, I've got a lot on me, a lot on my hands, but I'm still continuing to do what I do. Uh, this is my hobby. This is my little getaway. This is what I like doing. Again, 3,000 subscribers. Thank you. This is a shout out to Sneelock and I'm going to put a link somewhere around here for him. Uh, he's been uh, giving me some plugs on his channel, uh, leading folks back towards me. I'm going to try to lead some of you guys back towards him. 
Uh, Snee does a lot of, he does woodwork, uh, he's a retired machinist, he's got some old machinery equipment, um, and he does it on the cheap like I do. He finds this, that, and the other, puts it together, makes best. Uh, he's got some good ideas and some wisdom in his age and his, and his work. Thank you, Snee, for uh, all your plugs. Uh, here's at you, brother. Uh, some of you guys on this channel, go over and check him out, man. Got some good stuff, all right? Thank you. Well, that's it. Drill bits, braces. Nah, just a little gloat on my latest set. I really fell in love with those center bits. And um, I've reached 3,000 subscribers. That's really nice. Appreciate it. Um, thank you for all you do. Thank you for your subscriptions. And thank you for your time. And um, please come again. There's more to come.